What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today, we are going to get rid of this tipper right here, the Stroutman Hesperian. What we're going to be doing is we are going to get the brand new IT Runner pack. That's right, we're going to get the brand new IT Runner. So excited about this new coming out. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got that to do. Also today, we're going to need to lease a harvester. I was thinking by now we'd be able to pay for it, but... Unfortunately, we're just not going to be able to afford it yet. So we're going to lease the new case harvester. Well, I say the new one, the case harvester. And then we are going to go and harvest all the barley that we've got on the farm. After that, we've got to get ready for our corn harvest. Ser Seriously? For real? It is in the thing. Do I not own this? <laughs> Where'd my tractor go? There it is. Um, uh, so, something's, something's wrong. Please take it. I don't want this trailer anymore. I need to sell it to make money. Um, does it need to be completely in there? How about that? Maybe that'll do? Let's hop out. Let's see. Will that work? Um... Really? You don't want to... Uh, we're already starting with problems. I have no idea what's going on, but it does not recognize it at all. So we're going to have to go in here and we're going to have to do that the old-fashioned way. There we go. That is sold. We are good there. Done. Done. Boom. Now, what we need to do is we need to buy the new one. Actually, we can come over here and buy it. Pow. We're going to go into tippers, and we're going to go over to the IT Runner 2623. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is, 2623. Boom. Main color. So we're doing John Deere versus... Uh, what do we do? What do we do? You know what? I think just to keep it fair, we're going to stay Onyx on it. Will Brand, Trailerborg, Michelin, or Crawler Tracks. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure if we don't get Crawler Tracks... We're just not cool enough. So we got to go crawler tracks all the way. Lease, no purchase. Yes, buy. That's all right. We're going to buy that. And we want to get a tipper. Now, here's the thing about the tippers going through here. Is we've got two that hold 30,000 liters each. Now, with this one, you can't do much with it. With this one, you can't do much with it. However, we have this one right here. It says 28,000. Okay. Click on it. Up to 18. You're like, wait a minute. You have to extend it all the way. And then when you extend it all the way, you have to use the other tipper. So, we are going to get this one right here. We're going to go with very, very straightforward colors here, I think. Uh, nothing too crazy like a what, silver, metal. Yeah, we can go with a metal design color. We'll stick with white, standard, or tire track edition. Eh, yeah, we'll go with the tire tracks. Why not? And then we'll purchase that. $10,000. Not a bad tipper for ten grand. I gotta say, oh, come on, we turned it off again, didn't we? Yes, we did. So, that is what we're up to today. We're going to use this brand new tipper. And we're going to use it with the case. Let's go get some barley done. At least I think it's barley. I'll tell you what, we dogged this thing in FS17. But this ain't too bad. This ain't bad at all. Let's go ahead and bring it up. Let's unfold it. Let's make sure straw swath is enabled, which it is. And let's just jump right in and let's get to it. We've got a lot to do. This is going to be a lot of work for this little guy. Shouldn't take us too long. It's just going to take a minute. That's all. Oh boy, here we go. All right, let's see. Can we empty? Nope. 
Action cannot be performed here. It won't let me empty it, period. Oh, so... Uh, yeah, this guy right here. This ain't gonna work for what we wanted it to work for. Now, why? <sighs> so now we've had issues with the IT Runner truck. And now we've got issues with the IT Runner trailer. All causing issues of not wanting to work with... Oh, me, oh my. All right, let's pull it over here. Don't even care. Don't even care. You know what? I'm going to old trusty right here. Because for some reason, this keeps on working and this keeps on rocking every time we need it to work. I've never not had this thing work. Never, 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 never. Now watch right now. It'll be like, uh, yeah, I don't want to work. <laughs> don't, don't do it to me, man. Don't do it to me. Also got this wonderful wear, wear pattern right here. I mean, I mean it's definitely... Yeah, it's, it's a little around there, but there we go. See, so it's not me. It's the thing. Goodness gracious. Uh, all right, so let's let that do its thing. Oh, no, I lost it. Come on, there we go, there we go. We got it, we got it. We're back in, we're back in. So now we can just rock this all the way to the end and do our thing and collect all the barley this way because evidently this is the only way to do it at least for us we've sold a working tipper and bought a broken tipper that sounds about right for what we do so what did we end up getting 7612 liters not too shabby not too bad at all bring this around here and give it the old dumperoo this is going to be for the chickens that's right for the chickens for them and for them only. Now, we've got a lot of grass right now. Like We've got a lot of grass. Let's take a look at the grass right now. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? 138,000 liters. So what that tells me is we don't need grass anymore. What we need are cereal crops. We need crops like that. Stuff that can grow. Stuff that can rock and roll. You know what I'm saying? So... I think what we're going to do is come through in these grass fields. I think we're going to cultivate those up and we're going to turn those fields into something more that we can use. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to do that today or not because our next job, we've got to get up some straw. Let's just park this here and we will need the windrower. So let's take this here and let's put this here. Now, I have a very strong no windrowing policy when it comes to doing straw and grass and stuff like that with one exception can you do more than one row at a time because if you can only win row two rows together you are essentially making two passes anyway one to win row it one to collect it well if you're windrowing two together you're not saving any time you're actually wasting time however when you can win row more than one row together you're doing three rows at a time you're saving time so you're taking three passes and turning them into one and that is exactly what we're going to do today we are going to take these rows uh, I missed a little bit we're gonna take these three rows right here we're gonna bring them together and we're gonna do the exact same thing over there with those rows as well this should bring everything down to nice one row for us so we can come through collect this put it in the uh, well put it over there in the silo and be completely done. And that is what I like. Saving time, saving money. Yeah, yeah. So now we've taken nine passes. We've turned it into three. And we're going to have to make six total up and downs. It's not too bad, to be honest with you. The, the whole time it takes to swap out vehicles and tractors and, and implements and stuff, we probably didn't save ourselves any time. However, the good thing is we have saved ourselves a bit of time when it comes to loading and unloading and that kind of good stuff. So, nah, none of that made sense. I, I contradicted myself there, didn't I? Yes, I did. Nonetheless, we're still good. We're getting uh, what, about 50% per pass. There we go. First pass, 51%. So we're not even going to make it back up to the top. Boom, boom, boom. This is all right. We're going to add to our straw collection. Again, this straw is not going to be staying at this farm. This straw... We'll be heading up to the other farm because we do not need straw on this farm. Not for chickens and not for the sheep. 
After the first load of straw, we've got 80,041 liters total. And after the second load, we've got 86,144. Heck yeah. So the next thing we need to do is I noticed that at least for wool, we've got a decent price. Let's see, check for eggs. Eggs, we've got a really good price over at the port grain elevator. So what we're going to do is we are going to head back over to our other farm, our small farm. And we are going to get our truck and outfit it with a bell trailer tipper kind of thing. Now, the tipper that we've got on the back of it right now, we can transform into a bell trailer. The problem with that is we're going to have to take it off. And we can't take it off normal. We're going to need some front loaders. All right, here's the thing about this truck is we've got these little kind of notches on the very bottom. And they're not only on the left side, they're also on the right side. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the truck right here. And see, about right there. Yep, about right there will do. And we're going to unhook it. Now it's going to kind of freak out a bit. That's all right. Come over here and jump in there. Now this is going to be the tricky part. <laughs> because now we've got a lineup and I've got to get just perfect right on it. I think we're right on it. I believe so. Now we just have to make sure that the height is perfect. Oh, it's so difficult to do. There we go. I think, I think we're good. Remember, double check all the way around. All right. We're good. We've got it. And it's freaking out but it's off <laughs> we're we're out of there all right let's pull this forward just a little bit forward enough there we go good and now bring this into here set it down nice and easy get off there we go now we should be able to all that work i'll tell you what now we should be able to do this yes let's go ahead and repair it while we're here customize Capacity, we want bell wagon. Perfect. Customized for zero bucks. Nice. And it's right there. And now we got to pretty much, well, do all that again. Is it still in line? I think it's still in line. Should be. Yep, still in line, but we aren't. So we got to get back under it again. Pick it back up. Bring it out here. <laughs> Oh, me, oh, my. It is what it is. Oh, it's actually a little bit on the heavy side. Oh, boy. Oh, it is weeble wobbling big time. All right. Nice and easy. Come on. Come on. Don't, don't drop it. Put it on. Now, this is the important part is get away from it. Right before you attach it back on there, get away from it. All right. We do have straps, which is nice. So now what we got to do is, let's see, do we have enough space? Yeah, we got enough space to turn here. We've got three wool pallets, and then we've got a bunch of eggs. So my plan is to take all these wool pallets and all the eggs, and we're going to go sell everything. We're going to make a little bit of money. We're going to take everything, so even the wool that's not completely finished yet. Since we're making our trip, we may as well sell it. Actually, can we fit up? You know what? I'm going to make it fit. All right, so I did decide to only bring three of the pallets uh, since we've got, well, we don't really have a lot more room up here. I was going to put the fourth pallet up here, but I saw, I was like, you know what? We're kind of running out of room for all these eggs. So now we're going to have to try. I thought, I'm sure we'll be okay, but we're going to have to get all these eggs up here. Let's go and park right there. And one by one... We got to get these eggs up here and we've got to get them stacked very nicely. Because if we don't, we're going to run into problems. So what I want to do is kind of get this one pallet right about centered. Right about there. Good, good, good. And then just kind of one by one take them. So let's see. We've got 10, 11, 12 pallets. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So we're going to have to stack these four high oh this <laughs> you ever do something and immediately you're like you know what i think a bit off more than i can chew 
and I feel like box stacking is just one of those things for me. It just ain't for me. <laughs> we shouldn't be doing this. Oh, we're doing it anyway. All right, nice and easy. Oh, oh, that was on it. Right there. Oh no! Come on, you could you could do this. Come on, up, up, right there, there, right there, there, just, just drop. Pow. Okay, a little bit far. <laughs> there we go. All right. So we've got that there. I don't think that one's going to do anything. So we got those boxes there. Let's get the rest of these on and let's go sell these guys. Off to the port grain elevator we go. Now, those of you that may be eagle-eyed, maybe say to yourself, isn't there one little box that's just a little bit off? Yeah, yeah, he is. <laughs> don't worry about that little guy. Goodness gracious. So what we've got is we've got everything over the port grain elevator. The problem with this cell point is it is a train station only cell point. I have not been able to figure out how to sell at this station, not from a train, well, anywhere else rather. Now, can we pull over and it just starts selling them? Nope. We're going to have to throw them in. Oh, we're going to crash into the train. So we've got to make sure we're out of the way. Because if we crash into the train, we are SLO screwed. Oh man, stuff's moving. Maybe we shouldn't move everything. There we go. Yeah, well, let's let's just do that. And and that. Now, it's simple as take and hope that it sells. There we go. Okay. So 937 bucks for that one. Now let's see if we could just keep keep doing chunk it. 937, 937, so these should be very boom, boom. <laughs> if this train comes, man, I'll tell you what. Dude, let's just, like, let's, no, get, I don't want to be in it. I want to like, keep hitting them. Uh, let's see. Kick, kick, kick. Did we get them all off there? Oh, there's two more. I got to kick two more. Come on, come on, come on. And kick it. And kick it. <laughs> and kick it. We've just broken every single leg, haven't we? There we go. There we go. We're getting it. We're getting it. No, I don't want to be in the truck. Stop putting me in the truck. I just want to sell the eggs. There's another one. There's another one. Oh, the train's coming. Oh, I wonder if we could throw one at the train and it sell at the same time. Oh, right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Yo, it's so old. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, we are nutballs over here. I'll tell you what. There's that. One more. And then the last egg box right there. There we go. We made a good little bit out of eggs. Let's see. Let's go in here. I think it falls under crop cells. Let's see, sold milk, sold wool. Mm, harvest income. Is that 9600 bucks for eggs? Wow. Get out of here, bird. T-shirt link in the description. There we go. There's that. Now, we got to head over to the spinnery. The last time we were up here at the spinnery, we missed the turn and I went through the wall. So we're not going to do that this time. We're going to do that. There we go. And I don't know if it's going to sell immediately when we pull in here or not. Let's see. Money is not going up so we're gonna have to get creative um oh i got an idea i got an idea so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna fly forward and then do like a little like turn let's see if this works oh, this is the dumbest thing ever all right let's see we've got to hit it just right and drop the bells at the same time and pow. yo <laughs> oh, we almost sold them all. <laughs> we gotta push them all in there. There we go. All right, so we've made uh, about fifty-four hundred dollars, sixty-four hundred dollars, in fact. Not a bad trip around. Not a bad trip around at all. So we made well over fifteen thousand dollars just from that little cell right there alone. We are going to get rid of that IT runner. Um, with the issues that we're having with it right now, I don't want to risk having it on a Let's Play. Uh, we will try and do our best to figure out what's going on with that off screen and uh, 
and not have any issues with that going on screen. Now we did have one more thing to do today. We don't really have time to get to it, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the harvesters and we're just gonna take them over and we're gonna repair the harvesters and the corn headers so that everything is all set and ready to go for harvest time. But with all that being said, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not here, please subscribe. If you got any questions, drop those down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you guys out. I hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace.